Willa Brown used debate and diplomacy to fight for equal rights for everyone in the field of aviation. Willa Brown debated for equality in the field of aviation and used diplomacy to negotiate expanded rights for female aviators. She was the first African-American in the U.S. to earn a pilot's license. As an advocate for African-American women, she overcame many obstacles throughout the course of her career regarding her gender and her race. Willa Brown used debate to break the gender and racial barriers in the 1900s. She used diplomacy to open up opportunities for other African-American aviators. In particular, she worked to integrate the armed forces. In the long term, she influenced many Americans to stand up against injustice and forged a path toward racial and gender equality in the skies. Willa Beatrice Brown was born on January 22, 1906 in Glasgow, Kentucky to Hallie Mae Carpenter and Eric Brown. Her mother was Native American and her father was African American, so she grew up aware of the racial challenges she would grow up to face. She then moved to Terre Haute, Indiana at the age of three or four. Later, she graduated from Wiley High School. After high school, she attended Indiana State Teachers College where she earned her bachelor's degree in 1927. Not many African Americans went to college and women usually did not go on to have a full career, so her act of making it this far was a small but crucial debate. She then decided to teach in Gary, Indiana at Roosevelt High School. She used her diplomacy to handle the students and help inspire them to follow their dreams. After that career, she moved to Chicago, Illinois, the birthplace of her passion for aviation. Aviation was just rising to people's knowledge and was exciting. A few key figures included Eugene Bullard and Bessie Coleman. Both Bullard and Coleman were black aviators who received their pilot's licenses in France. Bessie Coleman was a trailblazer in the field of aviation, being the first African-American woman to earn her pilot's license. Willa Brown had looked up to her ever since she was a little girl. Was the first in the world, black woman in the world, to become a stunt pilot, and in which she had to go to France because of the racism in the United States would not allow her to get her pilot license. And so she went to France and in 1921 is when she got her international pilot license and then later came back to the US, to the United States. And so when we talk about Willow, she was inspired by that. Eugene Bullard was born in Georgia, but had to go to France to escape the racism of the South. He went on to become one of the most decorated fighter pilots of World War I. Following her idols in 1934, Willa Brown started taking flying lessons at the Harlem airport. She worked multiple jobs to support herself and to take lessons. One of her instructors, Cornelius Coffey, later became her husband. You know, she couldn't just go sign up at every aviation school at the time because of the this you know the segregation and what was going on at that time in the country but I know even like Chief Anderson who was an instructor pilot and many others they just watched and they taught themselves the number of opportunities were more limited but the ones they had they really took use of and then because they were limited they made sure other people had opportunities that they didn't yeah. So, for example, her starting the aviation school. In 1934, Willa Brown started taking flying lessons with Cornelius Coffey at the Harlem airport. He would later become her husband. She was also earning her master's degree in business administration and a master's certificate in mechanics. Her very efforts to get a master's degree as a black woman is evidence of her lifelong debate against gender expectations. Skin color is part of it, but even women really were not necessarily in mechanical or aviation yeah. type fields yeah. at all, engineering, um, any of those kinds of things. So to me, she kind of broke, broke the walls down and just said, anything's possible. After three years of training, Willa Brown had just become the first African-American woman in the United States to earn her pilot's license in 1937. Career took off from that point forward, becoming a pioneer in the field of aviation. She had married Cornelius Coffey and had opened a school, the Coffey School of Aeronautics. The school opened in 1938 with Brown serving as the director. 
Willa Brown used diplomacy to convince the government that African Americans could fly, starting the process of integrating more military programs. The school helped teach and create opportunities for African Americans to reach their dreams and become aviators. At that school, Willa Brown taught many of the men that are known today as the Tuskegee Airmen. Willa Brown took another step to ensure equality and used diplomatic efforts to integrate the armed forces. You cannot deny she wasn't a good aviator because look at all the things that stemmed from. She trained Tuskegee Airmen who helped win World War II, started the aviation school for anybody to join. So there, right away, you have one person who knows what they're doing exponentially sharing their knowledge. 1937, Brown, Cornelius Coffey, and others formed the National Airmen's Association of America, the NAAA. The purpose of the NAAA was to get black military cadets into the Army. She used her diplomatic skills to become president of the Chicago branch. Eventually, the association would have over 2,000 members. While Willa Brown was fighting her battle against racial and gender barriers, the U.S. was fighting their battle in World War II. As the war continued to emerge, women played a crucial part. One example is Jacqueline Cochran, who organized a group of highly trained U.S. pilots who were all women to ferry military aircraft in 1941. Due to her race, Willa Brown was not able to become a WASP. However, she did not let that stop her and found many ways to contribute to the war. In 1939, the Civilian Pilot Training Act was signed by Franklin D. Roosevelt. Under the act, the Civil Aeronautics Agency, or the CAA, could train civilian pilots regardless of their gender. The CAA recognized the Coffee School of Aeronautics to offer the program. Through the school and the Civilian Pilot Training Act, Willa Brown was also able to convene a group of black pilots, Squadron 613. Many of the famed Tuskegee Airmen were trained under Willa Brown. The Tuskegee Airmen were a group of African-American airmen who served an incredibly important role in the war. Jim Crow laws were still in place during the war. In previous Supreme Court cases, such as the Plessy v. Ferguson, Jim Crow laws had the support from the court. That she helped train a couple hundred of the men who went to Tuskegee because they helped change the course of our free world. Willa Brown ran for a congressional seat three times, unfortunately without success. Yet still, she marked a very important landmark as the first African-American woman to run for Congress. Oh, that even though she did not get a seat, she never quit. I mean, she never quit teaching people. She never quit uh, giving back to her community. She never quit service, you know, so I don't think it really, it didn't seem to get her down. You know, it was more of a, okay, this door closes, so what's the door that's going to open? She first ran in 1946, then 1948, lastly in 1950. Three years prior to when she first ran for Congress in 1943, she wrote a letter to William Levi Dawson, a congressman and her future opponent for a congressional seat. In her letter, she expressed that she felt there should be more training opportunities in aviation for African Americans. Another point she made in her letter was a change in the war training service. She shared how in previous changes, CAA schools had been cut that trained black pilots. There had originally been 11 schools, later just two. Willa Brown also wrote a letter to Eleanor Roosevelt displaying her diplomacy and urging Ms. Roosevelt to integrate the U.S. Armed Forces, giving everyone a chance. On July 26, 1948, President Truman signed the executive order that desegregated and ordered for the full integration of the U.S. Armed Air Forces. Willa Brown played a significant role in integrating the forces. If it wasn't for Willa Brown, the armed forces would be extremely behind in racial diversity. Willa Brown's debate and diplomacy opened so many doors for so many people. She empowered women to stand up against society and helped many African Americans, giving them the chance to fly.